David, we talked about company culture, and especially for recruiters, when they are asking or interviewing uh, candidates, they talk about the company culture. And even job seekers check company cultures to see what they're offering. And in your book, Unleash Culture, and I recommend this book everyone to read, a very resourceful book, you talked about the foundation of award-winning culture. Those are, there, there is five key elements you mentioned. Can you elaborate more about those key elements, please? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So if you think of culture, I, I think of culture as an ecosystem. And there's really five parts to an ecosystem. And what happens is, is that, and I'll quickly go through them with you, but what happens is, is that when one or two of the parts of the ecosystem gets out of balance, uh, that's when you hear people say, you know, the culture here sucks, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but re what really sucks, it's again, it's not, it's not the paint, the beanbag chairs, the beer fries, things like that. It's something really lacking in this ecosystem. And the five parts are really simple. The first one is, and I like to think in terms of culture of, so the first one's culture of, um, um, culture of alignment. And that's, and what that is, is that is our purpose and our core values, right? And so, you know, what does the company even know why it exists? Um, a lot of companies will have, uh, and we'll get into this a little bit later, have mission statements and vision statements, but why do they, why, why, why do companies exist? Um, what is your why? And my, my rule of thumb is you should be able to state that in four words or less. Um, second thing is your core values. You know, what are your values? And for me, there should be only four and one around people, one around service, one around introspection, improvement, and one around the business you're in. Mm -hmm. And so getting complete alignment around that, because if you go through most companies, say you have a company of 50 people and you say, why do you exist as a brand? Very rarely will everybody come up with the same answer. Yeah. So that's the first thing. Then there's culture of clarity. And clarity is what are we going to do and how are we going to do it? And that's typically your strategic one page plans, your roadmaps, your scorecards, your scoreboards, but getting complete clarity through the whole organization as to what the goals of the company are. It's shocking to me again, the number of companies that I walk into and I go up to anybody and say, do you know what the top three goals for the company are this year? And they have no clue. They have no clue. Well, if you have no clue, then what are you doing every day in your, in your role? You're really just existing. Um, and so that's the second thing. The third thing is culture of accountability. And so with a culture of accountability, is that how do we hold everyone accountable on yes. a daily, weekly, quarterly, monthly, annual basis? And that's setting up your rhythm. The fourth piece is culture of continuous improvement. And that is, how do we get better? And, and I'm a lean certified black belt in the Toyota production system. So we like to go in and weave some of that Toyota thinking in and where mm -hmm. how can we eliminate waste and only keep up what's value? And then the fourth one, the fifth one is a culture of inspiration. And that's how do we have the most inspired people walking through our door every single day? And I always say to brands, here's, what, here's the big difference. Focus on what do I have my people becoming, not what do I have my people doing? Because if you focus on the becoming, the doing will take care of itself. So if we can get all of those five elements in order, in balance, mm -hmm. then life's pretty good and the culture of the company is strong. If any one of those start to get so out of balance, then that's when there's discontent and that's when the rhythm gets broken and that's when things get fragmented and that's when people say, the culture here sucks. Well, yeah. it's really what part of it sucks. And so we go and we analyze it and we say, okay, culture of clarity, there's, you're, you're not involved in the goal setting. You feel mm -hmm. left out or you're not inspired or whatever it is. And we just go in and fix that and we just try to get things back in balance. Yeah. And do you think that culture can be added in terms of when new people come or new people are getting hired, they always make sure that there's an alignment with their personal values, with the values of the company. Do you think that new people can add values or culture will change over time if, if the company is growing or it should be the same all the way? I think certain elements have to stay the same. I think your purpose and your values are now and forever. And I think those are the anchor of the character side of your company. I think everything else needs to evolve. You need to get more mature in your strategic planning. You need to get more uh, driving accountability. Uh, you know, continuous improvement, something that never stops. Inspiration, something that never ever stops. So I would agree. I, I think there's elements that evolve. Even the purpose and the values, you can evolve the programs around those. You can evolve uh, how you get those out through your PR, your marketing internal. Yes. 
The other thing too is, yeah, you, you nailed it. You've got to absolutely positively during the recruiting interview process, make sure that the people that you're bringing on are aligned with your purpose and your values. Otherwise you'll have a, you'll have a, um, yeah. uh, you know, I always, I always put more emphasis on hiring character than mm-hmm. skill because I can teach skill, but it's harder for me to teach character. So I, I always look for the character side. Uh, does a person have to have skill? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I put as much emphasis, if not more, on are they a fit for our brand character? Yeah. Those are great tips, David. Thank you very much. And if you like any of the tips that David gave, please like and share this video. And tune in tomorrow for another question with David.